Okay, you guys, I made my bowl of pinto bean with my southern cornbread, and that's it. That's how it looks, and I am ready to dig in. This is an easy, easy recipe for all you beginner cook. You know, if you want some quick, easy pinto bean. Just keep watching this video and you will see how I cook this quick, quick southern pinto bean. Okay. And this is what I'm drinking on, you guys. My favorite drink. I love it. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. All right. You guys like this video? Give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family to show them what's cooking on my cooking channel. And if this is your first time watching my cooking channel, share, share, share with your friends and family as well. Boy, look at that. Look at that meat. And again, you'll wonder why I didn't put ground beef. This is how my mom cook her pinto bean, but she don't put no canned tomato, the rotel tomato or peppers, and she puts some onion in it. But yeah, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, she don't put all that in here. This is something that I, you know, when I got older and married and have kids, this is what use I want to prep up my pinto beans, you guys. So yeah, but anyway, uh, if you again, if you want to see how I cook it, just keep watching this video. Easy, easy for a beginner cook, I guarantee. You guys would think that y'all cooking, uh, you uh, cooking from scratch. <laughs> I guarantee. But anyway, like this video, give this video a thumbs up, share, share, share with your friends and family. This show that was cooking on my cooking channel. This your first time watching my cooking channel. Share, share, share with your friends and family as well. Like, comment below if you have any questions. Thumb this video up. And again. If you guys already subscribed to my cooking channel, channel, just make sure. Uh, if you guys already subscribed to my cooking channel, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel, just make sure you guys keep the notification bell on, and you will see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel. By that being said, you guys have a blessed day and be safe. Until then. I uh, will see you guys in the next upload video. Wow. So. Wow, wow, wow. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. Let me give you guys the first bite. I know I've been teasing you guys by just doing it like that. <laughs> there you guys go. You guys can have the first bite. I do not mind. <laughs> you want some of the meat part too? <laughs> oh my goodness there you go I know some people like that you know the meat there you go got it and you can have a piece of my homemade southern cumbread <laughs> all right so I'm gonna take my bite mm, show you tell you guys how it, it turned out that's the green chili yes I did add green chili but like I said you want to know how I cook this just keep watching this video okay Let's take my bite. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Good, good, good. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. All right, so let me get out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next upload video. Bye bye. <clears throat> you guys have to come back to show you. See how sometimes you could just put your cornbread in like that. See how my cornbread is go. Yeah, this is when you cook this kind of meat, it don't really have too much meat on it. But I think that might got a little meat. But I don't like to. I don't like to eat a lot of fat. But it's just so good. It's so good and seasoned with it. You know what I'm saying? When you cook, but you see how the cornbread. Mm -hmm.
I just had to come back and show you guys that. Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The soak is soak that cumbre in with that pito bean. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. So good, good evening. You guys, I guarantee. Here you guys go. Let's see, baby, y'all. A big bite with the soak in with the green peppers and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye bye. Everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Welcome back to my cooking channel. Uh, well, today, I, 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 you know, I wanted some, say, like pito beans, some uh, pito beans, um, you know, and probably make me some cornbread. But here's the deal, you guys, because I want, I'm doing this real quick because, you know, if you guys is a beginner, a cook, and just want something quick to cook this is the and you know what people would say well it's not like if you soak your pinto bean you know overnight and stuff in the bag and stuff but you know what you guys i'm telling you a little secret this is really really good but uh you would have to buy these types of pinto bean in the can yes so i just wanted some pinto bean and cornbread Sometimes when my mom be in the kitchen, you know, sometimes when my mom prepare meals and stuff, and you know, pinto bean is protein. You know that. So it's kind of like a meat. But anyway, I'll just come back to show you guys what I'm cooking in my, on my cooking channel. And, you know, I'm not going to use this. So I'll put this back in my refrigerator. But uh, I was, I didn't have no ground beef. So I said, well, that's okay. You know, because my mom, she she always used to cook with this kind of meat anyway. With no ground beef, no chili powder. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys see this right here? Okay, this is my meat part. I'm not even going to burn no ground beef. Plus, I don't have no ground beef anyway. But what I did, I'm gonna, I put this, because I had some left over, into my air fryer. Show you how I look. See? Yeah. This is my meat. And you could just put this, you know, maybe on 400 degree uh, for like six minutes. See? Oh my God. Look at that. These are going to be so good. And I'm telling you guys, you know, if you want to save, if you don't want to. You know, soak your bean at night time. You know, try to do the hard work. And I'm going to put a link, uh, probably a couple of links, show you guys how I used to do my uh, my uh, pito bean, you know, from scratch. Only thing I'm just using is the canned beans. That's okay. <laughs> and then, uh, again, like I said, you guys, you just cut up your onion because I'm going to finish cooking this i'm gonna finish cooking this in my crock pot so i won't have to worry about looking you know adding more water now you do not have to use this don't use this especially if you want a good pinto bean the only thing you use is one onion uh let me show you guys something i just cut up one onion and i just only season with you know a little excess salt black pepper that's the only thing i do because usually Back in the day, my mom didn't even cut up no onion. You know what I'm saying? 
And she didn't put no salt or nothing. And you know what? I hope this ain't... Well, I didn't use the regular salt, you guys. Okay, this is on the season I used. And that is Mr. Jack, Mr. Dash. Because it ain't really that salty. It's salt-free. That's what I use. A little black pepper. And also, the access salt is not really... You know, uh, it's, what's that? 60% less southern than salt. So that's the only season I use. And again, like I said, you guys don't use, you don't have to use this and stuff. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, when you make your bean from scratch, you know, you buy the pickup bean in the bag. I don't think you do, you, you, uh, Soak it overnight, the dry bean. Cut up one onion and whatever type of meat that you want to use. I'm not talking about that ground beef. I'm not talking about that kind of meat. I'm talking about this meat. That's the only thing that you need to use if you want some good southern uh, pinto bean. Okay? So, anyway, I just want to come back to show you guys. Uh, when I'm cooking in my kitchen, okay? Alrighty, so yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my meat that's been cooking in my air fryer. Okay, so this is how I look. And I'm gonna just dice it up. Oops. That's how I look. Alright. Okay, so. I will see you guys when I put everything together, okay? Okay, you guys, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my air fry. But you see how I cut it up? I just want to come back to show you guys that. Another six minutes, okay? Because it's still kind of cold inside, okay? So you want to come back to let you guys know that. Right on time. See how I, now you see how I cook real tender. Where well, it's to cook all the way through. Because if you really think about it, guys, you know the canned pickle beans are ready to cook, right? Then, like I said, you want to get your pickle beans and you don't want to soak it at night time the hard way, just get you some new canned pickle beans. That's the name of it. Okay. Oh, if only you guys could smell this. Or oh, the smell. That's how I chopped it up, cured it up. And you know what? If you guys ever eat at a Chinese restaurant, uh, Vietnamese restaurant, you know, they have this on their menu where you could just eat this like that. Yes, they do. 
Yep, they just eat it like that. So now, I'm going to go ahead and put it with my beans. There you go. That's my meat. Mm-hmm. Then my last thing, just kind of stir it up and just let it set. Just let it cook at least, I'm going to say at least two hours just to have that, uh, the meat kind of simmer with the pinto beans. Get what I'm talking about? Okay, so my last step is to put my green chili. Okay, I'll just cut this up. Okay, you guys see this juice? This grease came from the meat. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull a little bit where all of in there. Juice. Good flavor, you guys. I guarantee. Ooh, that was hot. Good, good flavor. Ooh, we did to cook you some cornbread, hot water cornbread, and you is good to go. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Easy, easy southern um, pito bean. Yep. So my last ingredient is my green chili. Okay, I have to drain um, the juice. That's it, like that. Uh, I don't know how much I want to put in. But yeah. About two tablespoons, probably enough. And you guys, if you want more, you can put more in there. It all depends on your taste of hotness. All right, so I'm going to finish letting this cook. Just showing you guys. Right. Okay, so this is my last step for my dinner. Now, if you guys want to, because this is how I used to make my uh, homemade um, cornbread. I used this. You know, they changed. <laughs> I think they changed the label. Uh, this right here. But usually this is, this is what I make my homemade cornbread. I used the uh, yellow cornmeal and of course you say fr flour. So if you guys don't know how to make um, homemade cornbread from scratch, they got the ingredient on the back of this and just go by the step on how to make uh, golden cornbread, you see? Okay, so next time I will see you guys when I make my plate. Alrighty, easy, easy meal, I guarantee. So you guys, I'm just gonna show you. Um, if you ever want some southern um, cornbread from scratch, and again, like I said, this is the recipe. You buy this kind of brand, and it tell you how to cook it. Okay. So yeah. Let's see. It would t it would show you the ingredient. I just want to pack that out, you guys. Um, and that's the, that's the one I always use. Now, I already put in my, my baking powder. So, only thing I need to put is the, uh, wet ingredient. That's one cup of milk, one egg, and the vegetable oil. So, yeah. So, if you want some good, good home, homemade bread from scratch, um, and this is all my dry ingredient. So, when y'all see my cornbread, you would know if I made it from scratch. 
Now here's another thing. Okay, now when I make my cornbread, you know, down in the south, they always use the um the cast iron uh pan. But I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use this right here. Because I want I want my cornbread to be real thick. So I just want to point that out. But use I always when I make my cornbread, I always use the uh cast iron skillet but i don't want to use that okay so just stir it up and then you always want to grease your pan so that's how my batter look okay homemade southern cornbread yep 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 all right so again i will see you guys uh when i make my plate when everything is done all right okay you guys so my dinner is ready i'm gonna show you guys uh, before I make my plate, just a little quick, show you guys how I look, then I'll start eating. That's how I look. So I'm cooking, ready to eat. Easy, easy recipe, I guarantee. Look at That's my homemade southern cumbre. Mm -hmm. All right, and that is my dinner that I got cooking in my kitchen pinto beans and southern cumbre. I'll see you guys in the next upload video. Because